Hey, what's up, guys? It is Canadian Gee here, back with episode number four of the Minnesota Wild GA Mode franchise series modes here on the channel. In the last episode, we played the home opener against the Vegas Golden Knights, where we evidently fell in overtime 4 to 3 off of a Jonathan Marshall goal in front of the net that was left uncovered by our defenseman. But um, that's in the past. We are 1 0 1 to start the season with three points, which is currently good for. Second in the central, tied for second, I should say. Um, in this episode, we are going to do some simulation. I plan on getting up to December 1st, maybe a little bit past it, maybe January. But um, we have a lot of guys here where it takes them to November ish, December ish, stuff like that. So, so just to start it off, we're going to do we're going to go a month of simulation here. So let's just go right here to the 1st of November. In this episode, I forgot to show you guys that Kalen Addison got injured in the AHL. I believe with a strained MCL, he's going to be out a couple weeks. But, oh, never mind. He's right here. So he is available to get back into action and to replace him on that top line. I did have him on. I believe it was Hunter Warner, and it was. So we're just going to switch that back. Switch that over to Kalen Addison. And everything should be good and ready. Yeah, I think we are all good now. Okay. So keep moving along here. Losing a shoot at the Carolina. Beat Nashville. Lose to Arizona. So 3-1-2 and two so far. Back-to-back -back games here against the Stars and the Lightning. Pick up a 4-1 win and lose 3-2 to Tampa. Trade offer here from Toronto. Nick Bjorkstad headed to Toronto in Shanks for Vili Vevelinen and a fifth. I'm going to decline that for now. We don't make those kind of trades until closer to the trade deadline. Or if we have a good replacement for Bjorkstad, but we just don't. We do have a replacement, but not a good enough replacement. So we're here at November 1st with a 6-4-2 overall record. I just want to see how our top guys are doing. Our t leading point getter is Kirill Kaprizov, so that is a good sign. Six goals, four assists for 10 points in 12 games. And right behind him is Matt Zuccarillo with eight points in 12 games. Dumba with eight in 12. Fiala and Greenway with seven and 12. Brask with six. Benino, Erickson, Exeter with five. Parise, Susi with four. Johansson, Bjorkstad, Felina with three. Brodeen and Hunt with two. Then Spurgeon and Hartman have yet to get a point. Ren Suter is currently a plus seven, leads the team. And Matt Dumba is currently a minus four, which leads the team in that regard. Uh, take a look at the goaltenders. Kapo Kakinen's been on fire. In six games, he's 5 0 oh, 1 with a shutout, a 9.43 save percentage, and a 1.61 goals against average. Very good stuff there. Cam Talbot, a little bit of a rough start. 1-4-1 one, and one in six games. I'm not worried. The 892 save percentage is a little bit worrying. But, um, you know, we still have a good record. We still got a good goaltender. Um, I have all the belief in the world that Cam Talbot will turn it around. Now, if we're to take a look at the AHL squad, Marco Rossi leads the team with five points in nine games. All those five are assists. Matthew Boldy with three points. He has three goals. Uh, looks like everyone is a minus on this team except for Hunter Warner. Um, I'm not sure how good this team is. Uh, we have one win in ten games. So, yeah, we're pretty bad. Okay. So, we are 1-7-1. It is um, not that good. But hopefully they turn it around. Let's um, do another month here. Let me just check and see. Um, is there any... Oh, we have to do some scouting assignments. It's a good thing I stopped and checked. Let's go ahead and re-sign those scouts. Uh, November 10th, 17th, 5th. Okay, so I'm thinking like November 20th being a good stopping point to re-sign the scouts. Uh, Kubisek. Let's um, just go with... Um, not character. Uh, potential with... with um, these guys, there isn't there much in the extra league anyway. So I'll go down to the bottom. June, uh, June, uh, January 24th, uh, USA East. 
Uh, we'll start on potential with these guys. We just could go down to the bottom here, January 24th. And then USA West. All right, Madonna, the Civil Tour, Godfrey, Emmerich, Lang, Domi, Franzen, Hextall, Kane, Baron, Bumgartner. I can actually stop it there. So January 24th for all those guys that we just reassigned. Um, then we should be good everywhere else. So 14th, 5th, 12th, 10th, 17th. So 18th. We'll actually stop on the 17th. November 17th is where we will stop and reassign those scouts. So let's go up to the 17th. It's a game against the Buffalo Sabres. And for this franchise mode, I'm going to be like, I might start start off an episode by doing a full game and do some simulation afterwards. It might be like a third period moment, an overtime moment, a big power play, big, a big moment in the game, kind of like a critical moment. I might start off a video like that, may do that in these kind of um, episodes, um, just just to keep it more entertaining, you know, just purely simulation. But um, yeah, moving along, we're at the 17th here, 8-8-3 eight, eight, and three record, kind of fall, falling off a little bit, falling off, excuse me, I should say. So let's resign those scouts. So Russia, we, we can do um, potential comparison. For all these guys. And then that many. So we, we're going to be before June. There you go. In the Liga. We can start with potential comparison. We'll do 15 players. So April 4th. Uh, another SHL league. We want Eklund, Caligo, Burkforce, Waltstedt, Olsen, Rosen, Lysel. This one's going to be more than 15, so this one may be a little bit closer to that um, date, but May 4th. Uh, then USA Central. Hughes, Ben Years, Pasuchov, Knees, Gilmartin, Gallagher, Berenz, Hereshak, Lucius, Wilmer, Pert, Duke, Boucher, Brown, Middlestadt, St. Louis, Coronado, and a bunch of these other players. There you go. So May 1st for that scout. Then I believe we should be good everywhere else. Let me just do one last check here. And yeah, we're good to go until December 1st. So I'm not going to check um, any of the stats yet. I'll do that on December 1st. We lose to Buffalo. Beat Chicago. So we're up 500. Game against Ottawa. We win 7-1. to one. We blow them out. Game against Winnipeg. Lose 5-4. to four. Game against Arizona. Andrew Hammond is out. Uh, our other goaltender didn't go in there. Um, yeah, game against Arizona. We win 3-1. to one. They're offering that trade again as the Maple Leafs decline that. Game against Columbus, we win 5-3. to three. The Hamburglar is back and ready to go. So let's go ahead and put him back in. So in goes the Hamburglar. And we are here December 1st. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. But before I do that, I have to... I'll be right back. Give me one moment. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Let's um, go over the team stats now. Crew Kaprasov still in the team in points with 11 goals, 9 assists for 20 points in 25 games. Zuccarello behind him. Greenway, Fiala behind him. Eric Zanet getting up there. Parise, Dumba, Johansson, Vrask. Okay. Uh, goaltending. How is our goaltending looking? Talbot could be better, but Kakadin's doing all right. Take a look at the AHL. 
Marco Rossi about what you what about what you would expect. He's looking pretty good. Same with him. McCaution's doing good. Boldy. Okay. Not bad. All right. I see what we can do another month of simulation. Let's see what hurt that would have. Uh, we're going to go to... Um, what should we go to? December 15th, I think we'll go to. And resign scouts that have to be done at that point in time. We sit fourth in our division with 27 points. We lose to Toronto there 4-1. to one. Beat Vancouver 3-2 to two in a shootout. Back-to-back -back games here against the Alberta teams. Game against Calgary. We win. Game against Edmonton. We lose. Okay. Murat Kuznetsov is back. Marco Rossi grew up to a 73 overall. We just checked him. He's a 71. Now he's up to a 73. I'd like to see that. So out goes Dumont. In goes Kuznetsov. Moving along here, game against Montreal. Uh, Marcus Johansson's injured with a broken nose. He's out to December 23rd. Uh, for the time being, we'll just put in um, Ra, Rao. I don't know how to say that name. But uh, let's go ahead and put him in. Playmaker on... It, it, it's fine. He's, it's a playmaker... Makes sense. He has good face off, so you can just be on the power play until then. That'll be okay. So, a game against Montreal, we lose 5 0. Game against Florida, win 3 1. Game against Calgary, but we're, that's the 15th. Let's resign some scouts. And let's go to the bottom here. WHL. Can resign some scouts. Uh, Gunther and Kuhlman's. Let's do potential comparison. Let's start with this. It's kind of going down the list. Uh, we don't need to do goalies, so I'm not even going to bother because we already got our goaltender prospect. Jason. Uh... Grube and last one being Wong. Okay. These guys are good until then. OHL. Let's start off with centers here. Pinelli, Harrison, McTavish, Akuri, Wong, Luckhart, Guri, Tolnai, uh, Left Wing, Othman, Hardy, Roloffs. Uh, Stillman, Sonny, Defenseman, Power, Clark, Chaika, Greets, Mater, Gurria, Malu, Terry, Montgomery, Enright, and Shanton. Okay. Uh, QMJHL, we're good. Oh, we got some in the Swedish Hockey League. Defenseman, Burke Fours. Oh, go all the way down here. Go all the way down to Raquel. Left wing. Go all the way down to Kvist. And then we go down to Sternborg. So it's good. Then I believe we have one in the Liga League. Okay. Let's start from the top up. So centers. Salmanainen, Ratti, Helenu, Seal. Good. Left wing. Cavisto, right wing. Good. Defenseman. Goaltending. Let's go with him. And that's good. Okay. So let's finish up this month of simulation. Now that we are good everywhere, yep, okay. Let's finish up this month, and then we'll take a look at the stats, and that's where we will probably wrap it up the episode. Wrap it up at January 1st. We beat Calgary. Marcus Johansson is back. So Cal Ra, Raul, 
Thank you for your time playing for that time being. Two points, he had a goal. Or two games, he had, yeah, two games, he had a goal. Let's swap him out. Marcus Johansson. You slot right back in. As we continue on with the simulation, game against San Jose. We pick up a 4-1 win. Matt Dumba is out with a bruised hand. He's out till January 7th. So in goes Ian Cole. As we beat Pittsburgh 2-1. Game against Dallas. They're really good. We lose in a shootout. Game against Chicago. We lose 5-0. Game against the Winnipeg Jets. Lose 4-1. Game against Pittsburgh. To wrap up the month. And we lose three to one. Okay, so after at January first, we sit with an overall record of 18, 16, and four. Kirill Kaprizov leads the team in points with twenty seven. Top guy being our top guy, you like to see that. Take one last look at the one last look at the overall team stats, and we take a look at the um, team stats as well. These, these are the player stats, I should say. So Kevin Fiala, 26 points. Zuccarello, 25. Greenway with 23. Rosk with 18. Parise, Erickson Eck with 17. A lot of spread out points. Uh, okay, goaltenders. Couple Kakanen leading the way. Cam Talbot's really coming around. 914 save percentage now. He's coming around. Kapil Kakinen's kind of falling down to earth a little bit there. AHL. Marco Rose or Kalen Addison and Marco Rossi lead the team with points of 23. I'd like to see that from our rookies and goaltenders. Hunter Jones not looking so hot. 895 save percentage, but that's okay. Now let's take a look at the team stats. So basically power play, penalty kills, stuff like that. So compared to the league, we are, let's see, where are we? We sit with in 21st with um, 40 points. Goals four per game, 2.76. It is a top 10 in the league. Uh, goals against per game. Oh, sorry. That was, that was actually goals against per game. Goals four. We are not putting up a lot of goals. Uh, power play percentage. We Do we have a bottom feeding one? Yes, we do. 11.5. So we're going to make some changes to the power play. And penalty kill, 88.1. It is, it's really good. Okay. So we got to fix up our power play. But um, I will we'll make these changes in front of you guys in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for taking time to watch this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see more content on what you just saw, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.